Welcome back to Cliffy's Kitchen. This is another episode where I'm going to take you through the simple rope, so to speak, of making the favorite cornmeal porridge. This is a staple on many tables all over the world, and of course, it's a kind of one pot situation. It's a nourishing meal. You get your bowl of porridge and you're good to go in the morning. Some people even have it for lunch, some for dinner. It is very flexible. But then, a lot of people struggle to really make a nice cornmeal porridge. I want to show you a few little tricks about it today, so come with me as we do that simple meal. For our porridge today, we're using some cinnamon, right? One teaspoon of cinnamon powder and of course a piece of cinnamon stick. It's very potent with the flavor, so that's good for it. We're using one tablespoon of nutmeg. We're using some essence of almond. We're using three tablespoons of vanilla. And of course, here is your milk, um, evaporated milk, a little coconut milk for extra taste. We're using two and a half cups of cornmeal, and we're using one teaspoon of salt. All of these will be put together in the pot, stirred together, and I'm gonna show you how we do that. All right, so here, our nutmeg goes in. Cinnamon. Vanilla. Or salt. And as we told you earlier on, we're just gonna make at least two drops of this because it's a very strong flavoring. Okay, that definitely is gonna give your porridge such a nice taste, you wouldn't believe it. And notice friends, I had my water boiling before. That is very important because you want to make sure that when you are pouring in your, your cornmeal, then no lumping takes place and of course you want to have a nice creamy smooth porridge so here is to start with a bit of coconut milk and now for my cornmeal I have it in water so as to so as to make sure that when I pour it it comes out in the liquid form and I will continue stirring it so that no lumping takes place like this okay a little is left in here um, I will take care of it um, and from how this looks you know that it is going to come up to the right thickness. Um, you don't want your cornmeal porridge to be too thin, neither do you want it to be too thick, and this looks like it's just gonna be great. I'll just add a little bit of water on this to get it out. I just add a little water to what was left in the cup so that we can get it out um, like this. And we will continue stirring vigorously so that it doesn't get any lumps and it will come together to a very nice consistency when we are satisfied with that then we will cover up and let it go on boiling on low fire notice I said low heat because you don't want the bottom of it to be burned either so your heat got to be just right and if your heat is right then it will it will cook for the period of the cooking period without burning the bottom of your porridge this looks pretty good to me of course you notice it is still looking a little like it's coarse one reason it's not cooked as yet and the next reason is that you will need some kind of creamer like what we have here evaporated milk this will bring the creamy part of the porridge up and you will have such a smooth sip you won't want to finish it when you start having it 
it's always good to keep some water nearby because cornmeal have a way of thickening so that's what I'm doing here I'm gonna add a little water to this to take it down a little and I'm gonna stir that in uh, we said earlier down Ron we don't want it too thick nor too thin we want a nice creamy consistency and this more look like what we will leave it at um, this looks good now yes notice wow it's getting there and of course you want to make sure that enough salt is in there so you can do a little tasting like this yes and this is fine this is good Our porridge been on for the last 12 minutes so we give it another 13 minutes in 25 minutes your cornmeal porridge should be properly cooked and so I'm now gonna put my flame at a low flame and cover it up and just give it that amount of time by then we should be ready to add our creamer all right my flame was at between medium to high in between there I'm now gonna put it below medium at about number three and cover up and let that go on cooking for the next 12 minutes and that should be good time for it to um, be considered well cooked all right so our porridge is now ready notice how do we know you're not seeing any grains in this look at it it is smooth so you know that it's properly cooked and of course here is my bad boy piece of cinnamon yeah it was just imparting the flavor in some mean kind of way it's gonna taste really so good I'm now gonna pour in some creamer um, evaporated milk and just show you how it looks okay that's like about um, yeah about five ounces and notice as I stir notice the look coming up it's getting clearer and clearer of course um, you might want to use straight condensed milk what I'll be doing when I'm ready to have my porridge I will also add some condensed milk to it but um, using the evaporated milk it gives it this creamy look the condensed milk will add to the cream part of it but it will also add the sweetener that you need some people will use sugar some use condensed milk um, we won't tell you how much to use because we know that everybody use the same amount of, of um, sugar or milk so you can sweeten to taste with your condensed milk or with your sugar whether white sugar or brown sugar anyone will do as long as it takes it to the taste that you prefer so this looks really good to me just imagine adding some condensed milk to this you are gonna have a beautiful creamy looking cornmeal porridge and not to mention the taste I must tell you earlier on two friends that it was four ounces of coconut milk I had added to this porridge that is a uh, enhancing the flavor you don't want to use too much coconut milk because it is cornmeal porridge so you want to taste the cornmeal not necessarily the coconut milk but it enhances the taste very well so you can add some if you wish to so this is where my porridge finish also putting it in a plate and in addition having it and adding the required amount of sweetener which you can do in your spare time now for a taste mmm tastes really good thanks for watching this video guys really appreciate you watching it we just want to remind you to like share and subscribe and guess what make your request comment in the section below let us know what you think about what we are doing we'd be too happy to make sure that we cater to what you want us to do next appreciate it and we'll see you in my next video